The genesis of many nihilistic slash proto-punk ideas in science fiction media, influencing a certain introspection and change via genre pulp storytelling. The direction of Roy Ward Baker, who claims the film directed itself on the strength of the script, though has proven capable, and incapable on certain admittedly, in fairness to him, inevitably doomed productions, say Moon Zero Two, or the unambitious telefilm Spy Killer. One of the better utilizations, best utilizations of space in creative geography, certainly in genre fiction, descendant of, of Dreyer's Vampire and Arnold's Creature from the Black Lagoon, ancestor of Carpenter and Hooper, and many others presumably. The general production aesthetic, a timeless London, so filling with this energy that time and space are beginning to fold inwards, rendering London Celtic, Roman, medieval slash Gothic, Victorian, pre-war and post-war all at once. The seriousness and political extrapolations which can be made from the storyline's implications. The fact that one wishes it was longer and spent more time being itself, perhaps the most complimentary statement one can make about any film. How serious and convicted every element of the film is, the finest screenplay and genre of filmmaking for theatrical release possibly up to that point in the English language, possibly since, but not definitively, uh, plus superlative film direction, stellar cinematography, Arthur Grant quite talented, tremendous performances from the gifted cast, stellar musical score from great Tristram Carey, Every element which can be critiqued is magnificently executed. Any disagreements can be stemmed from an agreement that everything is good, but it could have been great or greater with more. An inherent compliment, of course, yes. Is Quatermass and the Pit the greatest film ever made? It may actually not be, but the fact that I'm compelled to ask that question is a clear positive attribute of the film regardless of whether it falls under any true critical criteria or standards for what makes greatest film of all time, the fact that I feel that compulsion, this is the greatest film ever made, is enough. That's impressive in and of itself. It's more honest and sincere, that's for sure. And that's quite a mess and the pit. It's certainly the greatest film that Mr. Roy Ward Baker ever made, I'm quite certain. Thanks everyone for engaging with this brief video. If you have, if you'd like to improve your day, get off of YouTube and go outside. Explore this vast, expanding and invigorating world that we live in. Oh, and um, congratulations to Australia for the victory in India in cricket. I did not expect it, and I'm very, very, very impressed with them, and I sincerely thought India was going to win, so this is a very pleasant surprise on my end, although much respect to the Indian team, they normally are otherwise the second best team in the world, of course. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it very immensely. Again, thank you.